Today I will show you how to change any color in Photoshop to any other color using a gradient map filter. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. In the past, I already showed you several different ways how you can change colors in Photoshop, how to change any color to any other color. But today I want to show you another cool method, another cool tool how to change colors in Photoshop just to have one more tool in your arsenal because you know guys sometimes one method works better than the other in the current situation so here it is a gradient map adjustment layer to change any color to any other color so without further ado let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin right guys we are here in Photoshop and this is our first image for today so to be able to change any color to any other color first thing that we need to do is to make a selection of the portion of the image that we want to play with so here I will go with the quick selection tool and quickly just make a selection of this yellow trousers like that. It's not perfect, but it will do really good for this job. And now before I show you the gradient map adjustment layer method to change the colors, I will show you just a regular hue and saturation method. So I will just click on a hue and saturation. If you load the selection into the uh, layer ma mask that we just made, and now if we move the slider, we will just change the color of that selected part. So for example, I want this to be blue color, something like this. But mm, this is so saturated, so bright, it's, it doesn't have so much contrast. I don't like it. Maybe if I lower the saturation, it's cool, but it's not the blue type that I want. As you can see, it's not perfect. And if I zoom it, we see a lot of artifacts here. It's, it's not so good. So that's why it's really cool to know different methods to play with in Photoshop to change color in a different way. So now we will go and try with a different method. I will just hide this. We will try with a gradient map. What you need to do before loading the gradient map, make sure that you have black and white colors here. Let's go here. Black and white colors here as default colors. If you don't have it, just press D on the keyboard and Photoshop will automatically make them black and white default colors. So now we will go create the gradient map adjustment layer. It's cool, it affects everything in the image. Everything becomes back black and white, but now we will just copy this same layer mask into this gradient map by holding Alt or Option key on a Mac. Like this, say yes. And now this gradient map will affect only the trousers. We will click once on this gradient bar to enter the gradient editor. And here we have a lot of options, but we will concentrate only on this gradient bar down below. The left part of the gradient bar represents shadows, the right part represents highlights. So this is it. We will just click in the middle where the mid-tones are, okay, and put the black color here. So now you can see our trousers become becomes black. If I move this to the right, it will be even more darker because we introduce more dark tones into the highlights. If you move it to the left, it will be brighter because we introduce more lighter tones into the shadows. So this is how this works. Shadows, highlights, everything in between. Okay, I will make the trousers a little bit more darker. And with this small dot, we can play and choose if this trousers will be more shiny or more matte color like this. I will show you that in a better example later. But for now, I will go something like this. And if I want to change this from black to any other color, just click here and choose any other color. So let's choose the blue color. As you can see, I can now nail the blue tone however I want. Maybe I want this type of blue, a little bit more there. And press OK, and this is cool. I can go here and play with the brightness, but this is pretty cool. And now if I zoom it, I don't have those crazy artifacts, whatever I had with this. As you can see, I have a lot of crazy things going on here, but now I have really nice natural color change. And this is the beauty of having a gradient map to change colors in Photoshop. All right, now let me show you another cool example. If we go to another image, for example, this one, let me show you how you can change this really cool, bright, pinkish dress into some something completely different. So let's again go with the quick selection tool, make a quick selection here like this. Perfect, and now we will again introduce the gradient map adjustment layer. So now the dress is white. If you want white dress, perfect. Just make it practically black and white. If you want any other color, maybe black dress, go all the way with the black color on the right 
and move this because maybe you don't want so shiny dress. Maybe you want more matte color, something like this. Move it to the right, move it to the right. Now we have really nice, cool black dress and everything is preserved. Shadows, highlights, the lighting conditions, everything is cool. If you want to change the color into something else, you can really easily change the color of the dress. You can see it's really beautiful. But now, for example, I want to change the color of the dress to be complementary color of the background here. So if we go with the brush, press Alt or Option key, sample the background. Just go here, sample the background, right? Just one thing, if you're on a mask, in a layer mask, then you cannot sample the colors from the background. It will treat this as a black and white. So let's go back to the layer itself and now sample the color. We have it here and let's go to Adobe Color Wheel. So if we set this color from this one right here, we will get complementary color right there because I choose here complementary. We can go with the triads, we can go with compound, etc. In case you want to know more about color wheel and color theory, I have a full tutorial on that. You can watch it on the link right there. So now let's go back. Complementary color is this green. So I will go right here and set this color as an active color by clicking on this option right there. So we have it right there. Double click on the gradient, go here, check this middle uh, box here, go there and just sample this color. So here it is. We have really nice, beautiful, complementary color of a dress. And that's really cool. Easy, simple. We can nail to any color. Let's go back. We can nail to any color that we want. So this color, as you can see, is this color. Maybe we want like yellow color. This type of yellow, no problem. We have yellow dress. We have something really cool. Maybe we want the color of the background. No problem, we have the color of the background, etc. So as you can see, it's a really cool way to change color, any color to any other color. Okay, now let me show you another cool example. Let's go right here and let me show you how you can change, for example, the eye color, eyes colors with a gradient map. It's a little bit different, but actually exactly the same. So I already did it. So this, this image looks before all the adjustment layers, all the gradient map layers looks like this. A little bit washed out, but this is really cool. I hope you agree. So this is before, this is after, really cool. So here the eyes, these, these are the eyes. Everything is the same. I use gradient map, I use blue color. Everything exactly the same. The only difference, I changed the blending mode from normal because now eyes looks very, very, I don't know, artificial. It's, it's not so cool. But if you go from normal to overlay or soft light, it will look much, much better, more natural. So this is really cool. And now with this, you can play, of course, and change the eyes to any, any other color. Maybe you want more greenish eyes, but this is too much to saturate it, maybe more darker like this, etc. You got a point, you can change the eyes to any other color. I like the blue eyes here. Okay, and now let me show you another cool thing with the lips. So maybe, maybe let's go to this image, all right? I just played with the shirt and with the lips. So lips here, what's the point? This is the lips, all right. If we go right there and just do the same thing, add a color here, change the color of the lips to any other color that we want, etc. Everything is cool, but now we can play with these sliders. We can make this, so just press okay. And if we move this all the way to the right, we can make lips more matte, like it's a matte lipstick. If we move it, all the way to the right, not all the way, but to the right, we'll have more shiny lipstick, we'll introduce more shine in it. So it's up to you to play with this and set however you want. Also, if you go back to this middle, if we play with this slider, we will introduce less or more shadows in the dark parts of the image. So if we go to the right, we'll have more, sh more shadows and more contrast image. If we move it to the left, we will have less shadows in the darker areas. So this is another cool thing that you can do. If you want to set it to default, just press 50% right here and that's it. Right guys, and that's it for today's episode. I really hope that you like it and that you learn something really cool, nice and interesting from this one. So now it's up to you to practice experiment and have fun with this gradient map adjustment layer and change colors in Photoshop. Remember that also you can use this gradient map adjustment layer to make a split toning effect in Photoshop. I already show you that in one of my older tutorials you can google it for split toning effects also guys if you have any questions regarding to this episode just leave me down there in the comment section below i would be glad 
to answer it. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun video. Bye bye.